While I was doing my due diligence and reading up on the reviews for the Korg Sledgehammer Pro tuner, I discovered one review that mentioned he had to send it back because it rattled. So when I did get it, indeed, after uh, a few days, I noticed that the uh, button on the uh, left-hand side did start to rattle. Take a listen and uh, see what it does. So the solution to this is really, really simple. I just got a piece of thread and uh, wrapped it around several times uh, uh, around the button and uh, then go ahead and tie it off uh, and uh, that uh, uh, suppresses the rattle and it doesn't interfere with the action on the button and uh, it couldn't be a simpler solution and uh, it's a permanent solution. It shouldn't uh, uh, cause any problems. Uh, so anyway, I thought I'd pass that along as a useful tip. This is the Korg Sledgehammer Pro and here's how it works. Let's turn it on and uh, you turn it on by rotating the button up and that's how you turn it off and um, it's got three modes. The first mode is, a, uh, is this particular tuning style which is uh, fairly wide and um, then you go down to the second one. This is kind of the classic strobe tuning style and uh, that's okay for some people I don't uh, prefer that and uh, then if you go down to the third mode um, this one's good because it's more precise uh, and uh, it's a smaller range so that you know you're really close and this uh, provides more precise uh, tuning so those are the three modes on that switch uh, and uh, of course the on off and then on the other side you've got a um, adjustment for the uh, reference frequency so A440 is 0 and then as you go down it goes 987654 and those are Hertz steps down from 440 and then as you go, there we are at zero for 440. And then as you go up, it's, uh, you know, 400, uh, 443, 444, 445, 446, etc. And uh, that's how you adjust the offset of the reference frequency. So there we are back at 440. And that's everything that it does.